Hello everyone, and welcome back to HBN Infotech Tutorials. I've found a super quick trick for you today. Forget spending hours aligning lines. We are going to learn how to create a detailed floor plan prototype in MS Word in just five minutes. In this tutorial, we are focusing on creating a clean, professional look with color-filled walls and colored rooms, using a simple technique that cuts down the drawing time dramatically. I'll show you how to use this quick trick to create symmetrical walls in seconds, instantly add color-filled rooms, and define the space. This is the fastest way to get a visual layout using nothing but MS Word. Let's jump right in. Before we start this super quick trick, please subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon for future updates. By the way, I've created a lot of helpful floor plan tutorials. You can check out the entire playlist on my channel, including a dedicated MS Word floor plan tutorial where I show you how to create floor plans with accurate size and map scaling methods. The entire playlist link is provided right down in the description. Be sure to check it out and keep learning. Here is the breakdown of our rapid construction process. We are going to create all the walls in just three simple steps. Phase one, creating the walls. The first step is to quickly create our basic shapes. We need three key components, a simple rectangle, an L-shaped line, and a straight line. Step two is to apply the outline thickness to these shapes. For the outer wall, I prefer using a thick 12-point thickness, and for the inner wall, I use a slightly thinner 7-point thickness. This differentiation helps define our structure. In step three, you can immediately assemble them together. You'll need to stretch, duplicate, using the control plus drag trick, mirror, and rotate these items to form your full layout. Since we are using solid outline colors, you can overlap the shapes slightly, and there's no problem. However, take a little care not to cross lines or stretch significantly beyond the wall limits. That's it. The basic walls are created in minutes. Phase two, adding color. Now for the color. To quickly change the wall color, you simply need to change the outline color of those shapes. To add fill color to the rooms, you might need a couple of extra steps. If you use simple rectangles for your rooms, you can simply change the fill color directly. If you use the freeform tool or mini straight lines, you'll need to create extra rectangles or closed profiles using the freeform tool, remove their outlines, place them within the room boundaries we already created, and then set their fill colors. And just like that, the rooms are colored. Now, here is a professional trick. If you are not able to create those colored profiles with the exact perfect size to fit within the wall boundaries, no worries. You can create slightly larger profiles and then simply use the send to back function to send them behind the walls. Since the walls are thicker and opaque, they will perfectly mask the edges of the colored fill, giving you a clean result every time. Phase three, finishing the plan. In the next step, we'll create and place the door and window symbols. These are simple to create using basic rectangles and arcs, and they can be easily overlapped onto the walls. Finally, we place our furniture and car symbols. Remember, you can create your own, or you can download a full set of free symbols from my website. The link is always in the description. One final thing to remember. Since this entire exercise is about creating a quick prototype, you don't need to stress over absolute precision or perfect scale. This is your chance to do a lot of experiments. Feel free to try out different layouts and colors to see what works best for your idea. And for those of you who want to add more detail to your plans, here's a little secret. In my upcoming tutorials, I'll also be showing you how to create beautiful architectural plan trees right in MS Word. So, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss those guides. Okay, now please pay close attention. Follow and learn the steps demonstrated on screen closely. Before we draw, please note that I'll be using an A4 size page set to landscape orientation for our canvas. And most importantly, remember that we are working in compatibility mode. If you haven't done this already, please save your document as a Word 97 to 2003 document now, as this ensures we have the best object snap features. Okay. Now let's start the drawing process. Let's draw the walls first. Here are a few tips and tricks for easy drawing. First, remember that when creating straight lines, you must hold down the shift key. And second, after stretching a horizontal or vertical line, notice the size indicators in the formatting pane. 
ensure that either the height or the width reads zero. This is your foolproof way to confirm that the line you have created is perfectly straight. To save huge amounts of time, you can copy the fill and line properties from one wall to another simply by using the Format Painter tool. For minute adjustments and placing objects perfectly, you might have to use your arrow keys for nudging. And finally, if you do something wrong, don't worry. Undo immediately by hitting Ctrl plus Z to correct it easily. Just a reminder, I will fast forward a little in 2x speed. Feel free to slow down the video playback if you need extra time to follow along. Okay, great work. So far, we have successfully finished drawing all the walls. I hope you observed every detail of the on-screen demonstration without skipping, as those techniques are crucial for the next steps. Now, let's move on and create the doors and windows symbols. So, stick to your computer and watch closely as we place them into the layout. Good job, we have finished creating and placing the standard doors and windows. Now, let's address the entrance for the garage. We need to create a specific symbol that represents the garage gate itself. This is a large, unique element. So stick with me as we design and place this final opening symbol. Congrats, we have successfully drawn and placed the garage gate. Now let's add some exterior charm. We'll place some top view plan trees to the left side of our floor plan. 
I actually had these created beforehand, so I'll simply copy and paste them for this demonstration. And remember, as I promised earlier, I shall be making a dedicated video on how to create these architectural plan trees in MS Word very shortly. So make sure you keep visiting my channel often so you don't miss it. Okay, going ahead. Now let's place the finishing touches, the furniture, and the car symbol. Remember, you have two options for these. You can either create your own in MS Word, or you can download these symbols for free directly from my website. As you place these symbols, keep in mind that you might have to resize them as necessary to fit your rooms. You might also need to customize their appearance by changing their properties, things like the line color, fill color, or line thickness, to match your overall design style. It's best to follow me as I go, so watch carefully to see which properties I adjust. You will find the link to those free resources right down in the description below. We have now completed the entire floor plan prototype creation. Now, if you wish to learn how to create those vibrant colored rooms, proceed to watch this next segment without skipping. We'll be using a simple layering technique. You will notice I'll be creating rectangles and freeform shapes, applying color, and then changing the order by sending them to the back. During this process, you might also have to set no fill to any object that lies in the front or top layer to ensure the color behind shows through clearly. Also here is are some strategic advice and optimization tips. You might also notice that I temporarily ungrouped the walls, doors, windows, and furniture that we grouped earlier. I want to give you a strategic tip here. If you know you want to create colored rooms, the best time to do this is immediately after the wall creation and before placing the doors and furniture. This will ease the job and make the entire process far less fiddly.
And there you have it. At last, we have successfully completed our floor plan creation journey. Stay tuned for more floor plan tutorials and feel free to comment with any questions you have. Never forget to like and subscribe. I'll catch you soon with another floor plan trick. And as always, goodbye from hbninfotech.com. Thank you.